No, you can't keep me down for that long. I'm back. Let's go. Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm back. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Apologies, first of all, because I've been away for, God, I can't even remember, it seems like ages ago when I last sat in front of this camera to record a new video. So my apologies go out to everybody that was expecting a new video and I didn't deliver. If you haven't been away and have been living under a rock, I've had some absolute treacherous times this past couple of weeks. I had a thousand pound robbed off me. I got it back from you lovely people. So here is gonna be a thank you to everybody who helped me out in that regard. You don't know how much it means to me. It's incredible that you've done that for me. I don't wanna get too bogged down in the details because I've gone over it loads and loads of times in my own head. I've talked people's ear off and I'm sure you're all bored of it by now. I had a thousand pound robbed off me, thought I bought a camera, he didn't post it. My banker trying to get it back. In the meantime, you guys helped me out helped me raise the funds to buy this camera that I'm filming on now so thank you ever so much for that I will never ever forget it it's in here and I'm gonna list every single person that donated in this video so before we go any further if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe below we are so so close to 2,000 subscribers if you can do me a solid and hit the subscribe button below leave the video a like as well make sure you click the bell so you know when I upload a fresh video which they're gonna be coming every week now I assure you I'm over on Instagram as you all know please go follow me on Instagram at gastric John there's a massive community over there I can put you in touch with some amazing people you can follow me I'll give out advice tips anything you want to know then please follow me on instagram and get in my dms keep it clean though so enough of that tomfoolery and shenanigans we're going to get straight down to business this week now what i thought i'd do is i put together a little handy guide of the gastric sleeve the gastric sleeve not a to z so to speak but like a gastric sleeve hands-on guide what you should know if you're preparing for gastric sleeve and the imminent things afterwards so we're going to do that today but just a little update just before we do get into all that uh, my stall has now finally subsided and I'm starting to see the scales move again we're also going to get to scales a little bit later on in this video if I forget then I'll get around to it next time I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if I do forget but I'll do my best to try and remember to talk about scales because those can be some quite obsessive things that we don't want to go down but for the for the record I am now starting to lose weight again. I'm now, I was 16.9 for three and a half weeks. Weighed myself today, I'm now 16.6. So things are starting to shift again, which I'm not too bothered about because like I said in my previous video, if I stayed at this weight, I'd be quite happy. So let's get into today's video. Enough of all the jargon and lingo and all that buffoonery. Let's go. So here's my little handy guide. A lot of you will have seen my previous videos and I have talked about this quite a lot. So I don't wanna be like going back and digging up just old content for you to listen to over and over again. This is for somebody who, I mean, if you want to watch it, then by all means, watch it, it'll help me out. But what I'm saying is if new people come along and they just want to I know like a, a start point and where I am now and a nice little handy guide in the, in the meantime, then that's what I'm here to do. So let's do it. I keep saying let's do it, but actually let's do it. So whether you are private or you are with the NHS, which is the National Health Service here in England, it all boils down to the same thing. As soon as you've got your date, I know a lot of panic will set in. It's absolutely fine. It's natural. Panic will set in. Excitement will set in. A lot of worries will set in. Apprehension. It's all normal. Just give you, cut yourself a little bit of slack and just... Don't worry so much about it. What I did was all of the above. I did panic and I did worry about quite a lot of things, which is expected. But then I just took a step back and I networked. And I know I keep backing on about networking, but it was so imperative to my journey. I was just, right, okay, let me just take a step back. I'm gonna ask some people that have already been through this situation. And I networked and it was the best thing that I've ever done, hands down. So if you wanna network with me or other people, head over to Instagram and follow me on there, Gastric John. You will find the best form of advice from is from other people that have been through the process. I promise. And if you find those people, then please, 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 please chat their ear off. It will put you in a great frame of mind and it'll put you in a great stead about what's to come and what to expect. 
Now you might hear multiple stories, but you will soon start to realize that it's all individual. But even networking, even if it is all individual, it will still help you a great deal. So my first point of call is to network and just take a step back. Try not to worry as much because you've got a big, 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 big thing to look forward to. That's number one. Another tip in my handy little guide is to practice before you have your surgery, I guess, because that's what I did. I had my date on the 14th of June, that's when I had my surgery. But a good month before that, I was already starting to put into practice what I was going to be doing after the fact. I only knew that because I was networking with people that had already been through the process. So I kind of knew like a vague idea about where I was going and what I wanted to achieve. So I started to reduce my portion sizes. I started to try and eat a bit healthier. I started to also implement the stuff that I was going to be using afterwards. I started vitamins early. I started vitamin D a little bit earlier than what I should have done. And I think it put me in really good stead. So that's another top tip is to practice before you've even had surgery. It'll put you in a great frame of mind, hopefully that's the case, and it will put, set you up for what life is going to be like after you've had surgery. Another tip in my handy guide is to research the kind of diet you are going to be on. Ask your surgeon, ask your team about what kind of diet you are going to be doing. It could be multiple amounts of diets. You've probably researched them already and found out there is different kinds for different people for different scenarios. Once you get yours, network again, because all these kind of interlock into sections and they all meet to one whole thing. Research your liver reducing diet, network about with people who have already done that kind of diet, ask them what they did, ask them how they handled it day to day or hour by hour, research it properly. You could even start it a little bit earlier if you so wish. I do get quite a lot of messages saying that they're worried about this liver reducing diet and usually if it's any comfort to anybody watching that has just started their process a good 90 percent of people that come back to me after their liver reducing diet and say actually it wasn't that bad and it was i did it and i didn't feel too bad going through it it all interlocks network with people who have already been through the liver reducing diet ask what they did take a step back there's a running theme here just take a step back take it all in relax, network if you need to, reach out to people that have already been through it, ask questions, because that's a big deal. It's just ask questions. If you ask questions, you're gonna get answers. Just reach out, that's what we're here for. Another tip in my handy guide is, and I know I've backed on about this quite a lot of times, but this for me is the most important. Now this could be for everyday life. If you're struggling mentally, if you're struggling with the new process, if you're struggling prior to having it, stay busy. I know I've gone on about it a lot, quite a lot of times on this channel, but I really, really want to cement it in how imperative, if that is the right word to use, and how incredibly useful staying busy can be. Because when people sit down and are left to think about stuff, it can get overwhelming, it can get daunting for a start. What we don't want to do is put any extra pressure on ourselves or any pressure on yourself if you are going through this. Nobody wants the extra pressure. And for me, staying busy, I didn't even realize I was doing my liver reducing diet because I was that trying to stay that busy. I was out walking, I was taking pictures, I was making videos, I was flying my drone, I was making all sorts, just being creative. I was designing, graphic designing. I was gaming, I was getting st stuck into a new series. And like I say, I'm sorry to keep barking on about it, but it is super important. Stay busy. I promise you, pre-op and post-op, because it can be just as difficult post-op, but it is imperative, if that is the right word, I think it is, just to stay busy. I know I keep barking on about it, but for anybody new that's watching who's going through it, I urge you to stay busy. Now this tip is for people that have already been through the process, not process, but have, or have just had surgery. Sometimes it can get a little bit too overwhelming. This leads me on to mental health, which I haven't really discussed in detail about mental health. I am gonna make a video at some point about mental health because I have had my battles with it as well and I had to go back to psychology. My top tip, and it's gonna link into number one, if you are suffering, if you are struggling, please don't sit there alone and be with your thoughts alone. I know it's easier said than done, but you've just got to reach out, reach out a little bit and speak to other people. 
If you don't want to speak to other people and you've, you've built up enough of a relationship with me watching me due to my previous videos, just reach out to me and I will try and help you the very best I can. Go over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube, it's at Gastric John. Come and follow me. You can ask me anything, nothing's off limits. You won't offend me with anything. If you are having a rough time, just message me because I've got the tools now that I, that I have been equipped with to be able to handle what I, I know everybody's different, so you might not, it might not help, but it's worth a shot, right? I think so. So come and speak to me or speak to anybody who's been through the process and ask how they did with it. Because it is a big deal. Mental health is a big deal and it will affect you in some form. It might not be bad, it could be excellently good, but it will affect you at some point. And sometimes it can get very overwhelming. That's why I went back to psychology. Happy to report, she signed me off psychology because I'm in a much better mental health kind of scenario. And I'm really happy about that. So if you are struggling, and if you are having those doubts, reach out, come and speak to me, speak to somebody else, and hopefully that will put you in a great frame of mind and maybe a good path going forward. So look after yourself, look after your mental health and talk. So one of my last tips that I was going to share with you is always remember that bad feeling won't last long. That feeling of what have I done? Have I done the right thing? 95% of the people or maybe more that I've talked to and been in cahoots with, I've always said that feeling will not last long because it is tough. It's tough at the beginning. It's, it's probably tough. It might be tough later on. It, it, it's different for everybody. Now, I can say, I can sit here and tell you brutal honesty and say, yes, I've had tough times. Yes, I've gone through some mental health issues, but I can actually sit here and say to you now, I don't regret a bit of it because it's made me the person I am today. I'm in a great mental health place. I feel healthy. My body feels healthy, more importantly, and it's the best thing I've ever, ever done. And if you are considering it, ask questions and go and have it done because we are here to look after you. I'm here to look after you, to a certain extent. I can't cradle you like a baby, but I can certainly give you some advice. So yeah, there's that. Just in recent times as well, I do want to touch on one last thing. This might rub people the wrong way, and if it does, I apologize, but I do have to, have to, have to. If you did hear a vibration, now I'm using my phone as a monitor and it's just gone off, I apologize. I've got to touch on this. You have gone through this process, or you are going through the process. Please do not be food police to anybody else going through this journey. Let people find their way, if, let them eat whatever they want to eat. It's all individual. Please don't make anybody feel bad for eating certain types of foods or doing certain types of things. I think it's wrong. I would never call somebody out on eating something that I thought was bad for them. So what? That's their journey and it's not yours. And I see a lot of it and it does kind of irk me and rub me the wrong way. I don't like people, like somebody did it to me the other day. I have a bowl of granola every day. It's a Fuel 10K, which you know I work with. I work with Fuel 10K. They're chocolate chunk granola. Fair enough, it's got some sugar in it. It's got some carbs in it. Might be high carbs, but it's also really high in protein and it's really high in fiber and it's really, really, really high in other stuff as well. I only have one bowl of it a day and it tastes great and I am still losing weight. I'm not putting on weight. I don't need to be told there's sugar in it. Okay, I know I said sugar was bad. People change and people can change their mind. And if they want to eat something else, let them eat something else. They don't need other people to say, you shouldn't be eating that because it's got sugar in it. You shouldn't be eating that because it's bad for you. Please don't be that person. Please don't do that to people because it's, I don't think it's right. I would definitely not do it. If you've got opinions like that, sometimes it's better just to keep them to yourself, I guess. So don't you dare have a go at me for eating a bowl of granola a day. <laughs> So that's gonna do it from me. It's been great to get back. It's been great to be back. At the end of this video, please stick around because I'm gonna list everybody that did donate to the GoFundMe account. I am so thankful to each and every person that did donate. It means a great deal to me. My bank is still trying to get me the money back that I initially had stolen. But because of you guys pulling together like that shows me that I'm, I must be doing something right for you to find something valuable in me that you want to help me out in the way you did. I'm forever grateful. Please accept my most huge thank yous. You've no idea how much that did mean to me. It blew me away. I might have had a little cry, so what? I'm gonna list everybody who did donate at the end of this video. So please stick around for those people because they do deserve a good shout out in their own right. I would love to do it 
narrated, but there's too many to go through. I will list them all. Thank you so much for watching. If you did find anything valuable, or you did find me interesting enough, please hit the subscribe button below. It'll really help me out. I'm really close to 2,000 subscribers, and that'll be absolutely insane if you can get me there. Please leave a like on this video. That'll really help the channel out as well. You can also become a member. I've got some perks down below. Hit join. You're more than welcome to come and join the squad. I do some live streams every now and then. You can get involved with that. You'll get some awesome little emojis and some awesome loyalty badges for your troubles. And it will all go back to helping the channel. So until next time, you know the deal. My name's John and I'll see you in a bit.